Hi, uh, I'm Dwayne, and this is my wife, Catherine. We're the Overturfs. Our daughter's in school right now. Um, we moved here to Osa Mountain Village a little over two and a half years ago. Um, we were the second residents to move into the community um, after Lisa Bronzy. And it um, didn't take very long for us to find friends. There was there other, other people up here that weren't in, actually living in the villas that we became friends with, and new people moving here after us uh, rather quickly, Mitch and Charlene. This is a great place to wake up in the morning. You're um, woken up every morning by either howler monkeys or birds chirping or some kind of wildlife. And um, occasionally maybe a little rain wakes you up, but uh, other than that... If you weren't a morning person before you moved to ONV, you will be. Because it's so beautiful here in the morning. You want to get out of bed and enjoy it and get outside. And... Yeah, I usually get up at a uh, little after 5 and uh, go out and take a jacuzzi first thing in the morning at the spa. <laughs> About 15 or 30 minutes, and a uh, nice way to start the day. I watched some birds yesterday. I was out and I saw the smallest hummingbird in the world, and it actually flies very much like a bee. I was reading about it, and then I ended up seeing one and uh, up in the top of the canopy, and it just flies from flower to flower, and it flies so smoothly, it doesn't look like a hummingbird at all, although it is. Um, anyways, that's what our mornings are like, and that's what our days are like here. <laughs> yeah, we it's have, a we fun have, place. We have deeper friendships with people because we have more time to, to spend with our friends at home. We, didn't, we worked all the time. Well, we have Tai Chi as well. We do yeah, There's Tai Chi, chi is three, now, three mornings a week. Uh, I lead the yoga classes three mornings a week. Um, we've got different things to do on the property, all kinds of things to do in the area. I mean, the ocean is close by, we love going to the beach, and here you've got these beautiful, you know, movie quality, tropical little cove beaches up and down the coast, you know, like you, like you see in some uh, <laughs> idyllic place, uh, and that's what this is. <laughs> so we're happy, um, I think for us, or at least for me, the things that I worried about the most have not even been a concern. You know, there's some things that, you know, we didn't know about, maybe like, uh, Oh, opening a bank account is a little challenging, but we have lots of friends here who've helped us do that, that hold their hand and take us and make things like these here. So, you know, it's per We're really, really blessed to be living here. Our backgrounds are, uh, I was, uh, had a dog training company for over 30 years in Los Angeles, and we also had a candle manufacturing business. Um, making gigantic candles uh, for hotels and things. And uh, so we, we came down here to totally change uh, our uh, life and head in a new direction, new new route in life. And uh, we're glad we did. We're very, very blessed. We thank Jim every day for his vision. Yeah. And uh, we're yeah. excited to, to keep watching it grow and expand. And more people are showing up that have all these amazing talents that are making it even better and better here every single day. So come if on you're down. if you're somebody thinking of uh, moving to Costa Rica or considering anything like that, I um, would encourage you to have the courage, <laughs> encourage you, to uh, step out and and take the leap, and um, just don't expect it to be like you expect it to be. <laughs> it will be different. Uh, some things will be the same, but it'll be different than you uh, anticipate for and sure. And there's a lot of people now who've done it, so now there's a lot of us that you can contact us by email or see us on the webinar or see us, you know, uh, through the YouTube. Just contact us and ask us questions. We're here to help. You know, if we don't know, then we'll ask somebody else. But, you know, we're a community. And that's what makes it so and, and if you have kids, it's a great place for kids. Our daughter goes to the local public school. She's fluent in Spanish now. We've been here two and a half years, so she's uh, growing up fully bilingual, and um, that's very exciting. I wish I was completely bilingual. <laughs> I, I get by a little bit, but my Spanish isn't nearly as good as hers. But we do have Spanish classes, though, too. So yes, everyone can... we have Spanish classes here. Everybody can learn better Spanish. Okay. So, um, I don't know. I think that's about it. Yeah. So come. Come, <laughs> come on, on down. down. <laughs> Visit.